Yeah, that's right. We're still on this robotic arm stuff, but it's just too good, folks. Cannot leave it yet. Hey, y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here, and we are racking up visual evidence in this area. Now, in the last production, we discussed this incredible mechanical device that is seemingly strapped to this hill, a Curiosity rover imagery on Mars here. Now, this is a left mast cam image from Sol 3288, and here is... Uh, yeah, the image from that last video kind of help you out. But I'm I'm telling you, we're mostly wasting our time with these mass cam images. Now, we have multiple navigational camera images of this entire scene. Less resolution, perhaps, in grayscale, but more true and likely for those reasons. Some clearer than others, but this is the one that we will use for our model in which to work. So let there be light and a beautiful Martian lady for a size reference from Sol 3322. Now, although this is the model, please note that many different images were used to help engaging the distinct sections of this device that you will be seeing. Uh, this includes a lot of stereographic 3D viewing. Now, notice how these first four sections just seem to fit into one another. Now, this bottom section or possible end effector just seems to be like folded up and we're going to be very interested in your opinions here folks more than ever Now, I want you to pay attention to this square piece that you'll be seeing in the middle because it actually seems to be pressing up against the main arm. It's covering it. Now, remember, we've seen this in 3D. This section is definitely a bit closer to us. Now, here it is in another great shot from a slightly different angle from Sol 3326, right there in the middle. Okay, so notice we've located what may be two separate pieces up here that appear to be uh, binding this contraption. And the one on top appears to wrap behind the arm at this point coming up, follow the arrow. And the lower one seems to wrap behind it here. Now, after viewing in 3D, I believe this part of the strap curls upwards and is either part of the strap above or it disappears behind all this. We simply cannot see in order to determine. But if these are strapped in the manner suggested, it would make sense as it would inhibit the arm from swaying back and forth. And, you know, maybe I shouldn't say robotics here, which suggests automation. You know, maybe it's something like a track hoe, a backhoe, an excavator. You know, robotic does sound sexier though, doesn't it? And so there's a lot more going on here, and yes, it appears we have more that's securing this thing in place down here. Now take a look at the detail brought forward in this image. Even in this two-dimensional image, you can make out plenty of the three-dimensional aspects here. Now, on Sol 3324, this right navcam images exposes part of this device on the far right where you can see some different detail. No, that's not snow. It's the nature of our brightness plus contrast added to this particular image causes this. But at top right, we see this shoulder section, and that long rectangular piece is blacked out. The outward square section is here. Yeah, it's a bit hard to envision because the entire contraption isn't visible, but uh, here's the leftmost part of that bottom section where everything seemed, you know, folded up. Okay, now we need to address something that, well, I've had some people insist that this is a stairwell, and though I've admitted it looked like, I don't know, maybe, I've mostly blown it off as sort of a typical engineering pareidolia. Well, 
maybe not. How about dimensions, though? I know you'd ask. So this is the right image from the left right set where we were able to obtain size and elevation measurements. And by the way, what the hell is that? You know, I'm amazed at how many people still think I'm making all of this up. And okay, this is really starting to look like a set of stairs, admittedly. And after studying numerous images, having slightly different angles, I think we've got at least eight visible distinct steps or increments. Okay, first, here's our profile measurement of the arm, and the difference in elevation is about 3 meters, or 10 feet. That's the elevation change within sight frame. Measurements of height and distance in the smaller areas are tricky, but I think we're very close here. Wow, everything came out to being about 0.8 meters, or 2.5 feet. The elevation change is not marked with a line here, okay? Those are the width of the opening and the distance along the baseline, meaning the distance travel forward as we move upwards. So if you've ever built a set of stairs, you're probably going to call that the total run of the stairs. Well, they're all the same here, but whoa, 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 hold on, wait a minute, 0.8 meters, two and a half feet? Um, I'm here to tell you, Martian Missy is a sweet little thing, but there ain't no way she's fitting up in there. No. So. If the entrance is two and a half feet tall, we need maybe uh, half a foot for a headroom. And, uh, you know, this person, this Martian, would have to be around two feet tall or less. I'm going to leave you with that for now. Think about it. See you soon.